Welcome to another episode of 8 Past 10 Brief. My name is Christian Hagen and today I'm going to talk to you about the Rolex GMT Master. See, I just recently bought this watch. This one. This is the new Rolex GMT Master of Steel that was introduced during Basel World 2018. So you already have the 1675 from 1968 and uh, if you uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, you would already probably have seen the episode where I talk about why I bought that particular Rolex GMT Master. Really short, the Rolex GMT Master was introduced in 1954 in order to meet the demands of American Pan Am uh, pilots who actually worked in two different time zones. The Rolex GMT Master gave the ability to actually see at the time in two different time zones, and that was brilliant. And in order to, you know, celebrate the colors of Pan Am, the blue and the red colors were the colors that was actually decided to show the 24 hours turning bezel. The colors today are actually called Pepsi. When you say Pepsi, you don't actually think about a cooling drink, you think about the Rolex GMT Master. It's a great watch. I've already, no, always loved this watch. There's something about the functions that really appeal to me. I like to travel a lot and it, it's really nice to be able to see the time in two different time zones. I'm not really into modern Rolexes. The Rolexes I have in my collection are mainly vintage, but when I saw this model during Basel World 2018, it was instant love. Love at first sight, love at first tick. Some people do not appreciate the Jubilee bracelet fitted onto the new GMT, but I have to admit, ever since I bought it, yes, I bought it at retail, at a normal AD Rolex retailer here in Denmark. When I bought it, I have not had this off my wrist at all. I find it the perfect watch. It fits me extremely well. The new movement inside is super precise, plus minus two seconds a day. And the size and the heft and the functions and the extremely extremely comfortable Jubilee bracelet just gives it that perfect daily wear. Is it worth the money? Well actually if you look at it the price of this GMT Master was about a month's salary of a pilot back in 1954 when it was introduced and this one that's actually a little less than a normal commercial pilot in a local uh, for instance SAS pilot's job. So I think if you look at the original price of the GMT back in the days, and the GMT now, I think it's actually a very decent price. See, I don't have a salary like a pilot in a commercial airline, uh, so it was still a lot of money for me. But if I divide it into the pleasure of wearing this watch, and actually considering that I will wear this a lot for many, many years, yes, then the price is very reasonable. This was a short review of this great watch and this great watch, see if you can find the, we're going to link underneath here for the, for the film where I talk about the 1675 GMT Master Pepsi from 1968. But make sure that you subscribe to our 8 Past 10 YouTube channel. You can also follow us on all our social media platforms. See the links underneath. Thank you for viewing another episode of uh, 8 Past 10 Brief. My name is Christian Hagen and I'll see you soon.